part three uh, about this little video uh, regarding the um, Bin Laden tape that uh, was just uh, published yesterday um, on the major networks as well. Um, so uh, Katz, who is the founder of this or co-founder of this organization called Sight, um, that has been the subject of my last two videos. So you should watch those before you start watching this one. Um, Katz, uh, Katz's first nine months um, in the United States were lonely. I cried on the phone to my mama every day and she abruptly quit her job that she held as an assistant in a suburban gift shop. She didn't like her boss. She saw an ad for an Arabic speaking research assistant and applied for the job and got it. Her employer was the investigative project run by Stephen Emerson, a former reporter with an interest in terrorist networks. Now, Stephen Emerson is a very interesting person because he has some very far out theories. Um, you need to look this guy up. Um, Emerson became widely known in the aftermath of the 1995 Oklahoma City bombing um, when appearing uh, as an expert on CBS News when he theorized that the attack was obviously the work of Islamic extremists. Well, you know, as we all know, it turned out to be Timothy McVeigh, which was not an Islamic extremist, but rather a right-wing nut. So, Josh Devon, uh, the other co-founder of uh, SITE, um, this uh, um, little two-person think tank or whatever it is in, in DC, uh, left the investigative project with cuts, uh, they left together, and then set up um, this network called SITE. Um, and they've been friends since middle school. Uh, they finished college together in 2001. Uh, and, you know, when I asked Devon uh, recently whether they had given much thought to the implication um, whether selling um, intelligence by subscription uh, is ethical, he merely said, we're just trying to survive. <laughs> well, it continues. In May 2003, Katz published anonymously a memoir about her work uh, called uh, Terrorist Hunter. Um, she was exposed, of course, as the author soon afterwards, you know. I mean, you're publishing this through HarperCollins. You're not going to remain anonymous, okay? And uh, the book is, um, is as psychologically blunt as she is, and the tone at times verges on smugness. The FBI, she writes, didn't possess one thousandth of my knowledge <laughs> on the relevant issues. Well, that month, uh, Katz, Rita Katz, um, the co-founder of Site, and this is Site is the information where this uh, Site is the is the network where this tape originated from, supposedly, and this was quoted in the Washington Post yesterday. This is where the original tape from Osama bin Laden just came from. That's their source, Site. So Rita Cutts, the co-founder, uh, said that her information is always sound, but uh, that uh, the publicity uh, is not always so good. And of course, there were setbacks. Uh, in 2004, after she spent months helping the Department of Justice to prepare a case against a young University of Idaho computer scientist named uh, Samia uh, Sami Omar al Hussein for giving material support to terrorists, the jury summarily acquitted him. That material, uh, by the way, comes, uh, uh, the following material comes from a website called sourcewatch.org. The trial of al Hussein, and this is the guy we were just talking about, uh, this, uh, this uh, University of Idaho a computer scientist. 
Al Hussein was a doctoral student at the University of Idaho, um, and he was uh, charged for supplying um, material support to a terrorist group because he volunteered uh, in a setup uh, and maintained a website for a group that was uh, investigated by the federal government. He was never charged. He was detained regardless for one and a half years before his trial in which the jury acquitted him of all terrorist related charges and two of the immigration charges uh, and hung on the remainder of uh, the other immigration charges. The government alleged that his immigration violations were that he had worked as a volunteer uh, for INA uh, webmaster and that he may have received $300 for this work spread over multiple years. <laughs> as it turned out, Rita Katz, the person who was asked by the, the prosecution against uh, this guy to testify, Rita Katz was called as a witness in the trial, but the government didn't claim uh, that she was uh, any terrorism ex expert whatsoever. During the trial, it was discovered that Katz herself had worked in violation of her own visa agreement uh, when she first came to America in 1997. She also admitted to receiving more than $130,000 for her work as an FBI consultant on the case. I think that makes it pretty clear, don't you? Um, you know, it uh, it pays to do a little research on the internet every once in a while. It's kind of a boring, uh, boring task. It never gets rewarded. But uh, you know, the media, of course, is jumping on the story uh, just as they always do. And um, you know, I I just hope uh, there are some viewers out there who are a little bit more discerning and can spread this message and inform other people that, you know, this, this whole Bin Laden tape that has just been published is a complete farce. A complete farce. And, um, you know, what, what else can I say? Anyway, I'd like to have your comments on that, and uh, I'll see you later. Keep up the good work. Bye.